talking about this and uh, the fact that uh, Indian people accept uh, willingly their their fate. Uh, could you could you tell us about the, the specific film Deliverance and uh, the impact it had on the public audience? Look at it this way: that when something goes on for hundreds of years, it becomes a part of life. In Ray's Deliverance, Sangati, uh, he deals with people, uh, low, lower caste people, mm. untouchable people, who have been in that condition for more than a thousand years, nearly two thousand years, or even more perhaps. And to them, the, the condition of their lives is is part of the scheme of things, part of the scheme of the universe. They do not realize that any other life is possible. And this is something that Ray sees very quickly. And uh, what he does is to see it from a present day point of view and point out the injustice of, the, of it. But while pointing out the injustice, he is also aware of how the, these people both the oppressor, the Brahmin oppressor, and the um, untouchable oppressed, both of them accept a scheme of things without questioning. Um, could you tell us about the that continuous presence in race films of uh, that particular character that triggers of the process of the quest to a bigger truth? Uh, for example, Durga in Patapanchali, the two women in Days and Nights, Amal in Charulata, uh, Ratan in The Postmaster, Aditi in Nayak, the uncle in Agantuk. That's very, that uh, character that makes people think uh, more far than just the Sufas. To bring out the kind of uh, feeling uh, that Ray's friends do, you have the innate need within the structure of the, of the film for a character or characters who, uh, who make you think, who, who, who make you react. Mm -hmm. And it is through these reactions that uh, uh, things that begin to happen in the mind. Uh, in, in, in a way, it, you, you can even compare it to Greek drama, where things that happen, happen outside, not on the stage. But in the, on the stage, you are reacting to it. Uh, Ray also is not, is never really preoccupied with what happens, but he is much more re preoccupied with what the reaction to the happening is. And there are characters like this in uh, many of his films, and a number of his films, like uh, some, some often mentioned Dugga in Pathet Bajali, who causes his reactions. Her death itself is a, is a commentary on life the death of the old woman and the and uh, how Durga's point of view uh, to, to that death is, becomes our point of view. Uh, many other characters in his films do the same thing. You know, uh, there is Amol in, uh, in uh, Pacharulata, a famous instance, who um, who has cast a pebble into the still waters of of Charu's mind, as it were, and send, sends ripples through it. Uh, so that we, we reassess our lives and our attitudes to life through the through a reaction to, 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 to this to this motivating character who comes into his rooms.
frappé values spiritual and aristocratic and uh, also maybe next to this question what is really secret to hold the attention of a western audience <coughs> usually bored with slow temples which Allez. is the fact in this film how do you think it's possible that such a film has such um, impact in France for example Attends une seconde, just one second it's interesting to one second please Okay. It's interesting to think of uh, Ray's impact in the West, how it has come about, how uh, you know, the West has seen Ray come to accept him, and what is the secret to it? How did it happen? It happened in different ways in different countries, of course. In Britain, there was immediate acceptance of Pasar Panchali and the trilogy. Uh, whereas, let's take the case of France, where uh, it took a long time. It was uh, not until Jolsha uh, called uh, Salon de Musique was released in the late 60s or early 70s that uh, uh, France came to recognize his, his genius. Um, uh, the, 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 the high priests of the Nouvelle Vague dismissed Ray as uh, uh, too so uh, unimportant, uh, no significance for us, as it were. And then suddenly they were stopped in their tracks when they saw <laughs> John Chagall, the music room. It's a lot of music. Uh, here was suddenly a very, uh, a film which I can compare only to some works of Visconti, uh, which um, has it in almost a kind of mischievousness to it, in that in that it 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 uh, takes a character who is obviously um, historically irrelevant, becoming irrelevant, um, and sides with him, and in the sense that it 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 it, it emphasizes with his attitude um, and. Uh, uh, stayed with him right to up to his destruction uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a cussed kind of sense that uh, the, the, uh, the uh, character whom the Marxists for instance would, would dismiss as uh, a victim of uh, not a victim but a, a part of a historical process uh, of, of uh, the fall of a, of, a, of a particular class and the rise of the, uh, the fall of the of the landowning feudal class and the rise of the of the of the capitalist class. Now the capitalist class becomes a little a little ridiculous in in George uh, Agar, but the the landowning class, the, uh, the the aristocrat, becomes an object of sympathy and. Uh, we, we stay with him till the end. Uh, somehow we cannot dismiss him. We are fascinated by his strange obsession with, with, with his end. The fact that he wants to destroy himself fascinates us. That he, the, how a man is drawn slowly and inexorably into his, into his own ob oblivion, whole state of oblivion. Is something we watch with great fascination, with almost a sense of horror. Um, Mishra Marai, this uh, landlord in John uh, uh, is the only one who does not, who does not, who does not mind his destruction. His servants, uh, his wife. Earlier on, everybody warns him against his, uh, spending his, his himself in in this manner. But he prefers to to stick to the style of life than the substance of life. He ignores the substance for the sake of the style. This is a kind of heroism, as it were, a kind of 
a strange kind of heroism which fascinates us and uh, we watch him as he goes down to his death. Um, this caught the imagination of the French. Uh, I don't know quite why, I don't understand French character to, to that extent. But uh, I think probably what happened was uh, the, uh, what I call the sense of mischief uh, and, and, and the, 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 the unreasonableness of, of the uh, outcome of the protagonist's attitude to his outcome, to, to his end, is what uh, attracted them, because it's, 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 it's so uh, out of the ordinary. <laughs>